what I can see from the current uh, Team Sonnwagen Aachen that's building an extremely exciting car. I'm very, very passionate about uh, what they're doing and wish them the best of success for their uh, challenge in Morocco. I believe they're building an excellent design and have great chances for going to the podium and I definitely hope they will win and think that they have a chance of doing so. Hello, my name is Hendrik and I'm together with my friends, one of the founders of Sonnenwagen Aachen. Back in 2015, we founded the team and built the first solar car here uh, with Team Sonnenwagen Aachen for the World Solar Challenge 2017. When I look at the current designs of our Sonnenwagens that are being built here in Aachen, I'm just really impressed at how far they've come from what we started out with. If you start the production of this car, you just start with blocks. They don't look like a car. They look very boring. They make a lot of work to do them together, but they don't look like a car. And in, in the milling machine, um, really the first time uh, within Sonnenwagen's season, you get to see the real shape of the car piece by piece milled out of these blocks. And for, for the designers, which or the mechanics, the aerodynamics, who designed these parts, that's a very special moment. So in the process of developing a car like the Sonwagen, uh, we use different kind of simulations, CFD simulation, aerodynamics, uh, and structural uh, analysis to get the most uh, efficient car possible. And all these different simulations are done by many people in the team. So uh, we found a way with the Siemens software to collaborate very efficient together. And all the data is gathered in the team center. And from there we can uh, contribute to a f not only to an efficient car, but also to an efficient yeah, work frame kind of. Together with our partners, Structure Engineering and Gamma, we could improve our production quality a lot. So from the second to the third Sonnwagen, we not only see our improvement in kind of experience in the team, but also in uh, production quality of the parts, um, which will lead uh, in a lighter car uh, and therefore to better performance. All, all put together, we, we, we see now that the development of our car is just a very key factor to winning the race in the end. I mean, it's obvious, but, but it's so many small steps you have to take to have a good car in the end. And you decide the win of the, of the World Solar Challenge, for example, when the regulations come out and you start to develop the car. That's when you start to, to win or lose that race in the development. So that's really, really important. With all those changing regulations every two years, obviously the whole idea of our cars change. If you look at the history of Zonda, you see two very different shapes in the first two cars. And obviously the next car will be revealed soon, so you can uh, obviously stay tuned for that. But um, in general, what we see with the regulations is that because every two years it's changing that drastically, we see an ever ongoing complex, well, direction of, of, of future mobility that can be seen in the cars. The cars not only get better in the way they are, they are always changing with the with the general environment of, of technology and always changing with the general environment of safety issues and, and the races itself. And um, what we are trying to do is not only to push our personal cars, but to showcase that with our cars, we can maybe see a future mobility that's, that could be for every one of us, that we could see in every city of the globe and, and maybe see some elements of our zone environments um, in, in, in personal cars from each and every one of us in 10 years. And that's something that really pushed us.